Hey everyone, Axel here from Axel Z Entertainment, and today we will be unboxing more Amiibos. Now for Christmas, I got a bunch of gift cards, and I thought we're going, we were going to town that day, and I was like, let's spin them up. I went to the Amiibo section of the game uh, section in Target, and I was able to pick up two more Amiibos for a ton box. Hooray, Target. N this is not a sponsored video. So we got two Amiibos here of us today. We got Jigglypuff and Lucas. So, yeah, this is pretty cool. J uh, Jigglypuff, I never thought I'd actually see one of these in the wild because, to my knowledge, they are extremely rare and pretty hard to find. So I, I was surprised to see that they had, like, five of them in my local Target, which was amazing. And Lucas, he just came out. So I'd have to say that's pretty freaking amazing, and I really like it. So let's start by opening these. I think I'm going to start by opening Jigglypuff, because a lot of people have opened Jigglypuff in the past before. So it's not really the spectacle of the show. Even though out of the two, I think I uh, enjoy Jigglypuff maybe a bit more. It's hard to decide. Speaking of that, I actually, uh, with some of that gift card money I have, I actually got the first Earthbound game. In, uh, on the virtual console for the Wii U. So I'm actually playing through Earthbound right now on my own. Uh, it's pretty awesome. So I got Jigglypuff out, and I already really like it. It's kind of compact. There's several different types of Amiibos. There's the ones that are, like, really small and kind of, like, really small in your hands, like Mr. Game & Watts. There are ones that are, like, really big in your hands, like the 30th Anniversary Mario Amiibo and the uh, Bowser Jr. Amiibo. And there's the kind of ones that are just kind of a condensed, like, it's big, but takes up a small amount of space. Uh, and that's what Jigglypuff falls into, because he's a big circle. Uh, I pretty like it. it for, it's not super detailed, but that's very easy to understand, considering that it is a Pokemon amiibo, and they are by far not the most, uh, uh, like, detailed of characters, like, design-wise. Like, personality-wise, many of them are quite detailed. I really like it. The tough on the hair is done very well. Uh, as you can see, it's quite shiny, and I think the only real paint on here is the mouth, the ears, and the eyes, which is good because I'd hate if paint, uh, like the body was painted pink because then it could sip. So that's definitely a positive for the Jigglypuff Amiibo. Oh, quick update. Axe of the future here. I've had This is 24 hours after the original recording. Uh, something I've noticed about the Jigglypuff Amiibo is the fact that you can see there is a little crease in there that goes around. Now, that is quite annoying to look at, and it's a, it's a real eyesore. But other than that, this is a pretty amazing amiibo. So, I don't know why they have that particular just crease in there. It looks really, really stupid. I don't know why. But otherwise, it's a really good amiibo. So, let's yank apart the Lucas amiibo. Now, Mother 3, uh, which has never... Uh, were, Lucas came from has never been released in America, but according to Proto Mario and some sources, he, uh, they might actually port uh, Mother 3 this year. There's some rumors going around because it's their 10 years anniversary. So, I got the Lucas Amiibo out. This is pretty cool. Uh, I like it. It it definitely does look a lot like the character. The main complaint I'd have is the hair. The hair is a little too shiny for hair. Like, when you compare it, the skin is not very shiny. Because it's skin, they use plastic that's not super shiny. But the hair is still super shiny, and it makes it look kind of unrealistic. And just the way the hair is kind of molded together, it just looks like a big clump instead of, like, an actual hairdo. So, that's a con. Otherwise, it's pretty cool. It's got a nice pose. I can definitely see Lucas here. It's definitely not confusing looking. I really enjoy it. There's a cool amiibo. And this is one of the ones... Uh, that's really small, not even, like, small, but, like, condensed, a lot of stuff condensed into one area, like Jigglypuff, because it's a big ball. This guy's generally a very small amiibo, but it makes sense because he's a very small boy. So, that's cool, and I hope this, will be, uh, Mother 3 will be coming out in America, because I've already played a bit of Earthbound, and it's already awesome as crap. So, that's it, all the amiibos I have to open today. So, it, uh, do you like these unboxings? Leave a like, a comment, maybe even subscribe to join the actual empire. I would love that. What amiibo should I get and unbox next? The next, I'm trying to get my hands on the Mega Man Legacy Collection for the 3DS when it comes out. So then I'll have the golden Mega Man amiibo because I love Mega Man. 
And I love amiibos, and I love gold amiibos. But, yeah. So, until next time, I'm Axel. From Axel's Entertainment. Hey! Goodbye!